things trucking. Now let's get rolling. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to another edition of the Lead Pedal Podcast. This is episode number 968, and this is our Lead Pedal Q&A edition. And the question today is, should I get a D license? Well, we'll tell you all about why that may be a good or bad decision, depending on who you're looking for right after this. Hey folks, you know that Bison raised their rates at the beginning of the year for owner operators and for company drivers. And I gotta tell you, it has been so successful that they wanted to let you know exactly how much their drivers are making. That's right, they have significantly increased the base rates for their teams. So owner operator teams can earn up to $360,000 per year. That's right, you heard me say that right, $360,000 per year. Company team drivers can earn up to $120,000 per year per driver that's right per driver with some big numbers right uh, we have they have a wide variety of can only dedicated team positions available for folks to choose from and bison has a steady freight to keep the teams moving so if you want to significantly increase your base rates um, then you want to make sure that you sign up for that now bison has also increased the base rates for owner operators owner operators running canna only can earn up to 185,000 per year they have a wide variety of canna only positions for owner operators to choose from and Bison has a steady freight to keep the owner operators moving. So where can you learn more about all of these things? I mean, you know, $360,000 for owner operator teams, uh, $120,000 for company driver teams, and owner operators running by themselves can earn $185,000 per year. Canada only, folks, that is incredible. Well, the best place to go is to go to bisondriving.com. And while you're there, while you're talking to the team, would you let them know that you heard about it from the Lead Pedal Podcast? Hey, good luck there. You're going to make some great money working for one of the safest fleets in the North America. All right. So we've got our question today came in from Jeremy. And the question today says, uh, should I get a DZ license or and how do I upgrade if I've already got one and I would like to go to an A? So this is a, a question that comes up very regularly in our, our training systems and our schools. I get this a lot in our, my classes. In fact, I did. I was teaching at one of the schools. I teach with a couple of schools. I was teaching with one of the schools, and we were doing an in-class uh, thing. And I, I ask everybody. I go around. I go. So, um, what are you? You know, what are you going for as far as your license, and what do you hope to do with it once you uh, graduate? And so I had one guy. He said, "Well, I'm going for my D license." I just want to haul dump truck around. He was an older guy. So I just want to haul, haul dump truck around and uh, around my local area. And I said, oh, that's fine. I said, uh, so what happens if they ask you to float a trailer? That's right. It went silent just like that. <laughs> he said, oh, I hadn't thought about that. I said, well, a lot of small companies that, you know, the, the dump truck also drags the uh, piece of equipment to the to the job site, and especially if you're in a paving company, anything like that. And so he, he went immediately and upgraded his course to a Class A. And uh, this is what I say to people. I say a Class D is fine. Uh, I, I had a Class D license for a couple years. Uh, but back then, you didn't have to go back to school to upgrade. So you've got to remember this now. Um, I always believe in keeping your job um, opportunities uh, open as much as possible and the higher class gives you that opportunity because you can haul tractor trailer or straight truck so if you want to go drive straight truck you can certainly do that with a class a uh, the difference in uh, pricing is probably about um, I'm gonna say two to three thousand dollars you check with the school on that but um, so really uh, you know for three quarters of the money you're getting a license that really limits you on what you can do sure there's lots of opportunities for de-license and if you know you're only going to drive dump truck but like i say dump truck off often has to pull a float as well uh then you certainly don't want to limit yourself to that you'd hate to all of a sudden have a career limited just because of a trailer. So I always say go for the A license. If you have a D license now and you've been driving for a while and your company has, uh, there's a couple ways you can do this. So nowadays you have to go through a school before you could just go and just challenge the license and borrow a piece of equipment and go and do it. Now you can't. You, you have to actually go through a school. Uh, and that's where Melt was supposed to come in. It was supposed to come in and help people to just upgrade from one license to another. Not that that's how it's being used. So uh, what I would say, though, if you are currently employed and you have a D license, then I would go to your company first. And if they have 
if they have tractor trailers, tell them you would like to upgrade. You are more valuable to them with an A license over a D license. It doesn't mean you have to change your job. It just means you'll get a license. Now, the reason you want to do that is there's a lot of incentives right now and funds for employers to upgrade their employees. So you may get that paid for free by going to your employer first. So if you're employed, I would suggest having a conversation with your employer, your HR, uh, your boss, and say, here's what I'd like to do. Is there any funding available? And they may pay for it. All right. So that's your first thing. Now, if you are unemployed and you're wondering, you know, I I got this D license and uh, now I'm not sure uh, I'm able to do a whole lot with it. Go to the unemployment office and ask them the same questions. Here's what I've got. I've got a D license. I'm having a hard time finding work with it. Um, I would like to get an A license. Are you able to help at all with an upgrade? And they may be able to find some funding for you to go and do that. Um, the other case scenario is to go, just go pay for it yourself. You do have to go through a school. So uh, maybe you can find a school where they give you just kind of the upgrade part and don't charge you too much. Um that'll depend on the school. Go to a good school. Don't go to a cheesy school that's going to make it worse. Uh, Go to someone that's going to help you. But that may be a a place to start as well. So if you're employed, if you're employed, employed, is it employed? If you're employed already, go to see your, um, go to see your, your boss or your HR and ask them if an upgrade is possible through their system, uh, especially if they have class, if they have tractor trailers on their fleet. Uh, if they don't have tractor trailers on their fleet, they may wonder where you're going, but just say that you would like to get into, you'd like to upgrade your license. They may still be able to help you, even if they haven't thought about it before. Uh, if you are unemployed and you have a D license, then go to um, your local uh unemployment agency, ask them if there's any funding or upgrades to help you get into a class A license so that you have better job opportunities. And then if you are just paying for it yourself, uh, try to find a school that's in your area that hopefully is cost effective um, and, and get it done that way, but go to a reputable school. If you have not got your license at all, then go for an A. Say, the D license is great for people who are uh, just around city, um, but it really limits you on what you can do. So people think it's a fast step, and it really is a kind of a career step onto something bigger. So um, again, everybody's different, so uh, be careful with that. But I always and I always say uh, this is lead pedal question and answer is just general in nature. So um, you know if you think. Uh, um, you know, please uh, talk to a school, talk to a carrier, talk to uh, somebody professional that uh, could really answer your question. Everybody's different. It's just general nature. But my opinion is you should always go for the A license uh, as opposed to the D license because it gives you way more job opportunities. Hey, drivers, are you getting tired of trying to update that old PDF paper resume that you have? You want to apply to different companies? Maybe you want to show off some of the stuff you've had, like the trucks you've driven or pictures or whatever. You know what? You can't do that on a resume anymore. But you can do that at Driver Verified. Driver Verified is a platform that allows you to create your own unique profile and share your expertise easily with potential employers, insurance companies, anybody that you wish. This thing is so slick, you'll be able to update it, it's free to try, and you know what? Now you've got something that can be updated, you don't have to go back and wonder where did you put that paper copy. The cool thing is, companies can get this as well. And you know what? One of the best ways to be um, find new employment, and find things that are really cool for you, is by a company searching you out as opposed to you searching out a company. So why not try Driver Verified today? All you gotta do is go to driververified.com and give it a try. It's free to try, you can create a free profile and you can even get a free report. And by the way, if you were talking to the team over at the Driver Verified, make sure you tell them. All right, everybody, talk to you soon. See you on the All right, so there you go. So hey, uh, hopefully that helped you again. Uh, check with a, a legal professional or a school or somebody before you go and upgrade. But there's some options for you as well. And wish you luck. Thank you, Jeremy, for the question. And, uh, hey, make sure you follow us. We're on uh, social. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You can find us on LinkedIn. And you can find us on TikTok. And you can also find us on YouTube. I should always get, I keep forgetting YouTube. But the best way to stay up with all of that is to just download our app. 
And if you download our app, the Lead Pedal Media app, you're going to have our radio station, you're going to have our podcast, you're going to have our YouTube channel, you're going to have our blog, you're going to have ways of connecting with us all in the one app. So why wouldn't you want to do that? That seems really, really like a no-brainer, right? All right, so there you go. That's the best way to get hold of us. Thanks for listening. Hey, send in your questions, and we will try and get them on for you. All right, everybody, talk to you later.